Smoke still billowed as rescue workers searched for survivors. Some put out flames while others ferried the wounded on stretchers. They would discover multiple people killed by the Israeli strike that hit the southern port town of Tyre in the early hours of Monday morning. Hours later, an Israeli military spokesperson told citizens to leave once again. His directions were for large swathes of the Lebanese town, including those already under evacuation orders. Hezbollah's activities force the IDF to act against it forcefully. As we do not intend to harm you, you must immediately move out of the area marked in red and head north of the Awali River. Then came more bombing. Northeast in the town of Shamshda, west of Balbek, residents were also reeling from an Israeli strike. Some were trying to make sense of why their town was a target. As you can see, there was a fridge, washing machine and household items. There's no militant presence. The Israeli gangs would not be able to do this if it wasn't for American support and the silence of the Arab and Islamic states that are providing a cover for this. Along the border in southern Lebanon, Israel continued its air assault, while Hezbollah claimed its fighters had targeted, quote, an Israeli enemy troop gathering. The Iran-backed group also continued its cross-border rocket and artillery fire. In northern Israel, air raid sirens rang out as smoke shot through the sky, followed by the sounds of explosions.